My name is Dr. Sharada Pasimgulapati and I'm a gastroenterologist at Yashoda Hospital, Somajigura. Today, I'm going to talk about colonoscopy. So what is colonoscopy? It is a procedure that is done for the examination of the large intestine. Large intestine is usually a meter long. It is inverted U-shape that lies in the abdomen. Colonoscope is a long tube with a camera and a light source attached to it. So what we do is we insert the camera from the back passage, the anus, and navigate the whole of the large intestine and also look into the tip of the small intestine to complete the procedure. This procedure usually takes 20 to 30 minutes long. Depending on the problem that we encounter during the colonoscopy, the time could be longer. So the idea is to complete the entry into the large intestine and the tip of the small intestine and then inflate the intestine. So blow it up with air, especially carbon dioxide. And then on the way out, we do a detailed examination, further detailed examination of the intestine. So when we encounter any problems like a polyp or like an ulcer, we deal with them. If there is an ulcer, we can take biopsies and come out. Sometimes if we see polyps, we can remove the polyps then and there. So avoiding surgery, essentially. How is it done? The main thing that is involved in a colonoscopy, number one, is the preparation for the procedure. Preparation involves cleaning the cut. So this can take up to four hours. So one needs to be given lots of water with medication to be able to flush out the intestine. So fitness for procedure involves fitness for preparation. So if someone's very weak, or very tired or have a heart condition or a kidney problem and cannot take large amounts of fluid, we do not usually go for this procedure. But if the benefit outweighs the risk, we sometimes modify the preparation. So preparation is usually given from the night before or the morning of the procedure. Once the gut is flushed, we usually give a gap of two hours wherein the patients are advised not to eat or drink fluid and then taken for the procedure. The procedure is usually done under anesthesia because this can be a slightly uncomfortable procedure. Intestine is not a straight tube, so when we encounter bends in the intestine, it might be a bit painful. Therefore, we usually do it under sedation. We sometimes change the position of the patient during the procedure to get through. This becomes slightly more difficult in women, especially those who have had hysterectomy or anyone with abdominal surgeries. Anesthesia becomes mandatory. A procedure can be done without anesthesia as well. In young, fit people, we sometimes do it without anesthesia as well. Anesthesia, again, is usually a short sedation. So it lasts usually as long as the procedure. And by the time the patient, the procedure finishes, the patients are usually waking up. Uh, monitoring is done for about half an hour to one hour after the procedure to make sure the anesthesia effect has worn off and the patient is, ab is able to walk and talk and then only discharged. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.